Guys, welcome back to episode number five of Chesterfield FC. You can see here we are back for the end of season sort of running with Bromley and Notts County today. But two teams in the playoff hunt and challenging for the title still as well. But how did we get here? You can see since that last game, that draw against Wrexham, um, we came out and beat Solihull Moors 1-0. Tom Denton scoring the only goal in this one for us. In what was a closer game than I expected, um, really. Obviously, Solly Hull got a, a decent team at this level, but again, it's the same old story in that it should have been more comfortable for us. It was Clark's free kick towards the back post, and Denton heads home there for us. Next up was a home game against Dagenham and Redbridge, and um, this is more like it. This is what I expected to see more of, even though... They dominated the ball, 58-42. to, to 42. It was Carl Lines, free kick to the back post. Evans there, yet again to head home. And goal scoring from the penalty spot to make it 2-0 inside half an hour. Then later on, into the second half, 77 minutes gone. We got loads of action in this final 15 minutes. Another Denton header from a Taylor cross. Made it free before 4-0 came in the 86th minute. Yarny. Into Carline, it's a lovely ball, and he pulls it across for a Sante to tap home. But there was still time for a consolation goal from Dagenham and Redbridge. It annoyed me a little bit because you know I wanted a clean sheet, but we were comfortable. It was a lovely strike from Wilson, a low one across the ground from range, beats the keeper there. Then we played Sutton in another pretty exciting game, really. Um, we we went behind. Put it back to 2-1, the equaliser, and then an 87th minute winner from Asante at home here. Eastman intercepted the ball, played a Lafay in, who pulls it across for Ashley Seal. Well worked goal, sloppy, sloppy from us to give the ball away there. Then Carline using that long throw in of him, guess who? Will Evans, of course, heading home to level things up. Then ball came in. It was a lovely finish there from from Sutton. Why have we skipped the goal of ours? We've missed a goal completely. Because that one is the winner. We missed a Denton one, did we? We apparently did, because we don't get to see the Denton goal. It was a typical Denton header. <laughs> um, sort of threw me off a little bit, that. Then older shot was disappointing this is another team that's up there challenging for us as well up in the playoff on the promotion hunt and yeah we were comfortably beaten and deservedly so in this game as well browns cross towards the back post noble heads home to make it one nil just before half time and that of course swings the momentum and then later on in the second half another cross came in tanner heads it down to osterfield who fires home for 2-0 as well. Then we got a point against Boron Wood. Tom Denton scoring yet again. He's scoring a lot of goals this season in that target man sort of role. But we got off to a pretty bad start. You can see Corey Whiteley here inside a minute from Davis. Lovely looping ball. Watkins makes a mess of it. And Whiteley is there to... Just tap home, very, very annoying. Then McCourt spread one out to Yarny, who then into the area, can't be touched, stands one up for Denton, heads home to make it one apiece. And you think, you know, just 12 minutes on the clock, we're going to see plenty of goals, but no, that was it. Similar situation in the Barnet game, where it finished just a 1 0 and goal scoring in the eighth minute. He did also miss a penalty in this game as well, could have made it a bit more comfortable for us. Denton drove forward, played it in for and goal. Hits across the keeper and then off the base of the post to make it 1-0 if we just take a look at the penalty miss from him as well. Obviously, he's been pretty reliable with penalties. I think this is the first one he's missed. It was a great save from the goalkeeper. But still, you expect him to score. Uh, so, yeah, today that leaves us with Bromley and Notts County. You can see we are currently top of the table on 66 points. Bromley in fifth place, seven points behind us. Notts County in third place. Four points behind us. We've got a game in hand over Hartlepool. Um, and a game in hand over Bromley as well. We're looking at Notts County and Aldershot really. To be the two main challenges for us. 
this is team that we're going with today. Watkins in goal, Yarny, Evans, Maguire, Preston, Clark, Butterfield, Rowley, Angol, Dianga and Mandeville. We have Carline not quite fully fit. He's still returning. McCourt suspended. Yeah, we've had our youth intake as well, by the way. Some decent players in there. Um, Asante out of a torn hamstring. And Denton out of a twisted ankle. So we're missing a couple of players. We are missing a couple of players. Whelan and Dent drop out from the last game. So Butterfield and Mandeville come in. Mandeville returning from his injury. Probably won't play the full game. I know he's getting up there now in terms of fitness. So we'll keep an eye on him. If he can get the full 90, that'd be a lovely little bonus. But I don't think he will. It's just nice to see him back playing. It's his first start of the season. He's made one sub appearance so far. Butterfield now. Rowley. Clark looks forward for Angol, knocks it down for Denanga, and it's just wide from him. Decent first time effort from range. Would have taken something pretty special to find a bottom corner from there, but decent effort. Nevertheless, Butterfield coming in as well. Um we've had some issues between us. It's been demanding first team games. Um I've basically been telling him he needs to do better to deserve them. He's asked to leave. McCourt's suspension and some decent training performances from him means he comes into the first team. Bush now the throwing gets the ball back from a labby. Cross from deep. Watkins comes and claims that one. I always get worried when he comes out. He's not... You well, I mean, he's prone to rush a blood. That's a great ball from Denanga to find Angol, who tried to fight one from range, and it's just over as well. We've not had a shot on target yet in this game. And that is something that we do definitely need to work on. Evans struggling a little bit for fitness as well, as is Yarny. I'm going to tell him I'm not happy with that, and we may have to make some changes here. Um... I don't really want to take Evans off, that's the thing. We'll take Yarny off the air uh, for Gonda. And we'll keep an eye on Evans. Just because I know how much of a threat Evans is, and I don't want to lose that threat. Bridge with the corner, pulls it to the edge of the area, and Harry Forster. Uh, Forster Gives Brom the lead for a well worked corner. It was played to the edge of the area, and it's a lovely finish from him there. Mandeville isn't playing great. Neither is Clark or Angol. And it was well worked. Maguire probably could have stuck a leg out and blocked that. We're going to berate the team. We're not playing well enough. We are going to watch this highlight, and then we'll look to make some changes. Notts County 3 0 up against Barnett as well. Clark gets past the tackle. Still Clark. Tackled this time and it's going to come to Preston. Who finds Clark now. Butterfield into Denanga and Garley looked offside. The flag does stay down there and that was a big, big chance for us there. Preston is going to come off for Taylor. And Mandeville off for Galloway. So that is all three changes made. Jack Clark is having a shocking game. In midfield, we've already berated them. It has motivated them. We're going very attacking already because we're not really showing anything at all. So we need to, to go and try and do something. But time is ticking away here. And it's a throw in for Bromley deep in our half. Bush, Labby, Maguire smashes clear. Angle can't quite get there though. Corrigan pumps it back forward and the force is in behind. He scored again and it's a mistake there by Gonda. He did not intercept that ball. I'll let him off a bit because he's not quite the natural right back. He's still learning in that position. But it's just a pump forward. And oh, that's so disappointing. We've got 15 minutes to try and find at least two goals. Notts County close to within a point behind us. Let's just berate them once more. See if we can find anything. Even just that one goal could help us crucially in terms of goal difference. But it doesn't look like it's going to happen. Time is going to tick away. We are going to be defeated 2-0. And we are throwing a water bottle here. We, we are not good enough. I'm disappointed with defensive efforts. Actually, I want to be 
individual to Jack Clark here. Fresh my arms. I'm furious with him. Midfield, disappointed. Attacking, disappointed. Everyone's demotivated. I don't care. We need a better performance if we want to go up. And that makes this next game against Notts County massive for us. Absolutely huge. And that's what we're coming back for in this second part of the episode. You can see just one goal at one point between us with nine games left. So you sort of feel like this game against Notts County could potentially decide the league in the end. And um, we've gone for some changes here. And actually, I think I'm going to make a couple more. And perhaps a shock one there. Will Evans will drop down to the bench. Carl Lyons going to come in at right wing back. Yarn is going to go into the centre alongside Maguire with Preston at left back ahead of Watkins. In midfield, McCourt returns to the squad after his suspension. Rowley in the box box midfielder. And Charlie Wakefield, the young 20-year-old that we brought back into the club. Um, during the season, he's replacing Jack Clark. I was furious with his performance in the last game. The past few games, he's been very, very poor as well. So he's been dropped for Wakefield. Up top, Angol in the poacher role. Denanga in the target man support role. And then Crowther. I've gone again for a bit of a shock factor here. He is the um, one of our young players that we've had in the youth intake. And um, he's the best one that came through. But I don't know. I thought I'd, I'd try something. I thought I'd go for a bit of a shock. Something that Notts County perhaps weren't expecting. And almost an unknown, really. So we've thrown him into a massive game. We're going to see how well he can handle big games. Um, we are going to tell them we're huge underdogs. There's no pressure. We're going to take all pressure of every single player today. I don't like that Maguire's complacent at all. But we are underway here at Meadow Lane. Notts County, of course, the home team. They start one point behind us. All the shot and Hartlepool both still up there in contention as well to win the league. Uh, Bromley also up there. It's so tight. Reeves with a free kick. Finds Phillips at the edge of the area. Unmarked and Crowther heads clear. And, I mean, we've had a couple of chances. No highlights yet for us. Let's go and encourage them. All the shots taking the lead as well against FC Halifax. Bromley are beating Boreham Wood. And still, that is the only highlight we've seen so far in this game and we get to half time at 0-0 uh, I want to tell them I'm not happy that's motivated them Maguire's not having a great game. Uh, to be fair, there's a fair few 6.5s in there, and it's another Notts County chance here. Wooten crosses blocked, but it comes back to Baldwin. Wooten stands one up. Phillips' header has hit an arm of Yarny, and a penalty has been given to Notts County. Wooten to step up and take this. Straight down the middle, it's 1 0 Notts County, and Notts County. Go top of the league. And um, yeah, maybe my experiments hasn't worked off. Cool penalty under pressure. And that drops us down to third place as well, actually. Our mark coming up. We've got a throw in actually here. Car line. Long looping one. Slocum comes and collects that easily. Angol isn't having a great game. Mandeville can come on for him. Wakefield can come off for Clark as Miller goes close there. I wasn't paying much attention. So all three substitutions have now been made. We're going to berate the team. It hasn't particularly gone down too well. Players are dropping in form and condition. Though. Carl Lyons throwing again. We can't get to that one either. We've got plenty of plays in the area. They're just not putting the bodies on the line to win the ball. There's not enough fight being shown to try and win this game. Yarny, it's a terrible back pass to find Phillips. 
and now Wooten, tackled by McCourt. He had to get that right on a booking. But Yarny is giving them a chance here, and McCourt's dived in again. He needs to be very careful on the booking. Roberts with the ball. Evans heads clear. Denanga flicks it on. Mandeville beats his man. The sub finds Crowther on his debut to level, and it's straight at the keeper in the end. Play with instructions. Uh, why can't I tell him to ta ease off tackles as we have another chance there from Clark? Pressure is now coming. We are creating chances. We just need to finish one. That is all we need. Halifax have equalised against Aldershot. Hartlepool have been destroyed 3-0 by Maidenhead. We're to four minutes of stoppage time. We're not going to find a goal here unless we can have a late counter-attack. Mandeville, we possibly can. He's got Crowver free in the centre if we can find him. He's found him. Crowver, straight to the keeper again. Oh, maybe if we hadn't played him and we had an experienced centre forward, he'd have probably scored it. Mandeville's corner delivered, his header clear, and that's going to be it. And we lose the lead at the top of the table. And we are throwing a water bottle again. We're far from pleased. And we've got a lot of work to do in the end of this season to try and recover now. Notts County go two points ahead of us. Two defeats. When, when we needed it the least. Denanga's now not scored in 10 games. Oh, we've got issues everywhere. Issues everywhere. And not long to turn it round. And a lot of the teams that we play are all fighting down at the bottom. We will come back for the final two games, Maidenhead and Stockport, on one day. If you have enjoyed this, please do hit that like button, subscribe and ring the bell if you are new here. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, stay safe. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.